Hello guys, it's your boy Young Diamond. <clears throat> yeah, I came across a video online. Just take a look and we will come back. Talk. Who tell you say to buy us for Europe now waste of money? The person who tell you say to pay rent for Europe now biggest waste of money. And the person who still tell you say if you want buy us for Europe, no be cash. Or you that money to buy house. You go pay small small for 20, 30 years. Depends on the amount of the house where you buy. And uh, all right, uh, Mr. Frank, I greet you. Uh, you know, I just want to correct some impression of uh, this uh, issue you are raising of buying a house or renting a house, which one is uh, more favorable and all that. You know, sometimes when we are passing information to the public, we have to be factual and we have to let them know the advantage and disadvantage of it. You know, I'm not saying buying a house in Europe or diaspora is bad, but there are risks that are involved, which is the reason why I'm making the video, this video to correct your impression. First, before you buy a house in Europe, you have to look at your age. You understand? You have to look at your age. You just measure 20, 30 years. Let's say, for example, I'm 30, which is the average africans nigerian that are working in diaspora especially europe here you can't see anybody that is below 20. you can't see anybody you get so let's say for example i'm 30 or i'm 35 now i'm working i'm young i can still consider myself that i'm young then i'm 35 add 30 years to my already being 35 which is 65. you want to tell me say i will work for this country till i get to 65 years all in the name of say I want pay for house. Those are the things that you are supposed to look out for. And number two, before you buy house in this uh, wherever you are in diaspora, Europe or wherever, first you have to make sure say look back to your family background. Make sure say you not get winch for your family. You know those are little little things that we forget to look at. You see this village people way we they talk. Now, family winches and wizard. If you get winch for your family and you buy house, you go borrow money to buy house. They feel they watch you. See, you may remain small. May you pay for the house finish. If you don't remain small, either they throw rope for your neck, draw you, kill you, or they will push you, go do what you're not supposed to do. That house, they go collect them for your hand. You understand? Those are the things you are supposed to look out for. And again, before you buy house for wherever you are in diaspora, Europe or wherever, just make up your mind. Say you don't conclude. Say you know, go back to your to your home country. Because if you know, say one day you go back to your home country, I know I advise you may you buy house for for where you did for the country where you did. You understand? And you they talk about borrow money for bank. You know, one thing where you go know the disadvantage of going to the bank for mortgage or to go borrow money. If you borrow money for bank. Number one, you don't give part of your life to them. You don't get freedom again. Financial freedom, you don't get again. Not just thing say now that money where you where you go borrow the one the the, the one where they tell you say they will they come out every every month. Not your belief say now that one they will they come out every every month. In another way, they go they come out small small money where you don't know. If they happen, you get. So those are the disadvantage of buying a house. In, in Europe, all those things, or wherever you are, all those things, they happen. You get, not be story, it they happen. The only way I will advise you to buy a house wherever you are is gather at least 40 to 50% of the money for the house. Cash, well, you know, say now your own. Then the remaining one, you know, say at most less than 15, 10 years, you'll pay and finish. You just say 30 years now, beans. Say now, my mind. You understand now let me talk about the advantage of rent you feel rent a house you feel rent maybe two bedroom or three bedroom i know say now to rent a house is kind of difficult but god feed one for you grace you rent house two three bedroom you day one bedroom you feel even decide to date the parlor because now europe everybody they will they manage nobody they they if you say you want they live expensive life for you now you know you feel go rent three bedroom you day one, you and your family will not manage one, or you feel even day parlor, give the three 
out for rent at the end of the day you discover that you are not paying it then and tomorrow you decide to go back to your country and after you suffer come on je, 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 you go back to your country you know they owe anybody nobody they owe you nobody uh, you, you, your life does not depend on anybody and all that that's the freedom those are the things we are supposed to look at when we talk about maybe buying a house and renting a house so that's it the choice is now yours this video will be a little bit long so i just have some things to chip in and some corrections to be made regarding this video you know the first thing i will say learn from those that have failed get experience from those that have failed but work with those that have made it so whatever you are doing in life Make sure to learn from those that have failed. But follow the footsteps of those that made it. Because so many times we see people fail in some certain endeavors. And they, they try to discredit it and not make others see the light in it. So our brother made a video to counter another person. Talking about buying a house, rent, and all those stuff. You know, there are some points I, I picked out from what he said. Now, the first point is this, age. Now, one thing you need to understand about mortgage. Yeah, age is a factor. But age is not a deterrence to getting a mortgage or buying a house. You know, you can be 40 years of age and then you can still acquire a house. You can get an apartment of your own choice. Now, speaking of the country we are here in Italy, you know, it is very convenient for people who have met the requirements to get an apartment. Now, the first thing about age is that they are setting requirements as regards age. So, if you are 40 years and above, 36 years and above, and you are willing and interested to get in an apartment, you can. Which is why we have the courts. The, we call it the ASTA, whereby you can go for a court auction, you get an apartment at a cheaper rate compared to normal conventional means. An apartment that is worth 100000 let's say, in the normal market you can get it in the court auction for half the price so purchasing that maximum 10 15 years you're done with your payment if you are serious about it so age is not a deterrence so for our brother seeing age and all that it is not a yardstick to measure how you can pay or you're going to work pay for 30 years and all those stuff it is not the months that you have to pay your rent or your mortgage for 30 years. Everything has to do with planning. Before you decide to get a mortgage, you have to plan how the payment will be and how well you can also offset in advance most of the payments. Now, when you get a mortgage and they give you a, life, a, a payment plan of 30 years, it is a convenient payment plan. It is not a payment plan that, yeah, you have to just go with it. You can go with it if you choose to. But it is a convenience so that it will not be a burden to you. So whenever you get a 30 years, 25 years, 20 years payment plan, it is something that is of convenience to you. As time goes on, the more money you get, the more you begin to offset your, your mortgage. It has been done. It has been done. So many friends of mine, they've done it. So age is not a factor. Working 30 years is not a factor. So another thing he said again, he mentioned about you have to check your village, the winch, and all the stuff, diabolism. Yeah, there's diabolism, you know. But there's no, there's no thermometer or there's no telescope to know if truly... <laughs> someone is after your life or someone is after your downfall 
we all came from a background of diabolism, but that is not a yardstick. You can also be kid doing your project even in your home country. Yeah, you can be kid for it. So making a claim that, oh, when you're getting close to the payment of mortgage and then you, you just, they just buy you or something of that nature, it also happens in our home country. So don't instigate fear in the minds of anyone. You can build a house over there. You won't even step into the house. The moment you get to your country, they, they buy you. We've seen it in the news in so many cases whereby they send millions and millions to, to invest and all that. But the, moment, the very moment they step into the land, oh, where are my investments? Where are the things that I sent money for? And then they get kid for it. What then are we not saying? So village people, oh, they are, it is not a yardstick. Don't instigate fears in the mind of anyone. There is no barrier to what anyone who seeks your downfall will not go through. Whether you are here or you are in your home country, the only thing you have to do is to be prayerful. Be prayerful. That is the only thing. Be prayerful. So please, don't instigate fear in the minds of people that, oh, if you are getting close and your village people, when they see, they will want to buy you or so, or that. No. I stand firmly against that statement. People die. People buy and all those stuff, but don't put that at the forefront of whatever uh, uh, projection you're trying to project isn't called for. And again, it says something that, oh, if you are looking to buy a house in the diaspora, you know, you've already concluded and made up your mind that you're not going back to your home country. Like, seriously? How is that done? You know, we came from a divide that makes such pronouncements, such proclamations and all those stuff. But I would, I would advise, just go on a trip to the US, the UK, Canada and all that. And then you see our, our African brothers, they take pride in owning properties. And you see how much of our African brothers actually own houses in the UK. So just because we are here, don't, don't make it as if we are in the village. No. When you go to the UK, you see massive numbers of Africans own properties there. They go to and fro as they wishes. So please don't, don't, don't say that you just conclude you want to remain here. That's a myopic mindset. Even here that we are, I have friends. Um, the truth be told, yeah. Majority of the homeowners from the Africa descent are the Senegalese, the Gambians, the Malians, and the Ghanaians. They own more properties here than Nigerians. A majority of them, they live back home. Sometimes they come or they send their children over. I have a friend who's back in this country, in an apartment down here. He sent his son over. It is an investment and not a waste. So if you choose at a certain time that you want to leave the country, simple. You put in someone, sign a contract, give them the account of which the bank takes its mortgage from, and then every month they pay the money, the bank takes it from there. After 30 years, it becomes yours. 
It is not an investment wasted. And that also does not stop you from doing an investment in your own country. Remember, the house you are staying belongs to someone and you are paying rent there. You are offsetting the mortgage of that particular person. You are offsetting the mortgage of that particular person. So this idea that we, we, we do come with like, okay, I just came down to, to work, to hustle, you know, five, ten years, I'm going back to my country. <laughs> it should be told. Our predecessors who came down before, you, before us, you know, they did me that statement 10, 15 years, I'm back to my country or I'm, I'm leaving. I just came here to work and then 30 years after, they are still here. And most of the people saying, I want to go back home, I just want to work and go back home. They are the ones that ends up not even going back. They end up not going back. So it's funny why we say things not looking at a clear picture. You can have properties here and you can still go back to your own country, controlling them. Travel to the US. Most of the real estate holders, they are also Nigerians. Go to Dubai. Homeowners, majority of them are Nigerians, Africans. But they, they go to and fro doing their business. You don't have to work a salary payment for 40 years and retire just like you claim. That is why we have to think. What else can I do? What else can I do that we give me more streams of income to live a comfortable life? It is better to live well here than live like a pauper while you put your investment in your, in, in your home country. So, so many people, they die without even seeing their investment in their home country and they made their money here. So where you make your money, be comfortable there. So again, he said, borrowing, we make, or taking a mortgage from a bank, we make you a slave to the bank. Funny enough, I don't think there's anyone who is not a slave to the bank. If we must put it in that context. There's no one who is not a slave to the bank. Your salary, where is it paid to? To the bank. Your savings, where is it kept? In the bank. The same bank, we also put a, a limit to how much you can withdraw daily. on your own hard-earned money. They will still put a limit on how much you can transfer daily on your own hard-earned money. That's more or less like a slave. So you don't need to borrow to be a slave. Your money you kept in the bank has already done that for you. The bank system has been structured in a way whereby you have to be conditioned and on how you use your own money. So taking a mortgage from the bank only helps you also get from the bank regardless of the interest you are paying. So what richest men today? They borrow from the bank. They are indebted to the bank. The richest men in Africa, the richest men in Europe, just name them, check their profile. And then you see how much they owe the bank.
So you own, you own a property or collecting a mortgage from the bank does not make you a slave to the bank. And again, he said something. That part is quite understood, you know. When you you have to get 40 to 50% of the, the capital to get your apartment. You know, it's easy to say and it's funny to say. Because, and it is also difficult. We all know that it is difficult to get 40% down payment for your mortgage. It is very difficult. You are going for it and you just make it. Let's take for instance, you, you, you found an apartment you want to buy and it costs, give or take, 100,000 euros. And then you're talking about 40%. That's 40,000 euros. 40,000 euros. Or 50%, 50,000 euros. Just a down payment. Not the expenses that comes after that. Let's beat it down. 50,000 euros. 50,000 euros, and you talk about 40% or 50,000 euros. You're talking about 20,000 or thereabouts. That one is a little bit understandable, but also difficult. So if you are willing to get an apartment you have the mindset to get an apartment go for it go for it if you have 20 percent you can as well go for it if you have 10 percent you can as well go for it if you have 5%, you can as well go for it. Now, let me shock you. Do you know that if you get a mortgage from the bank, even if it's 100% of the financing, or let's give or take 5% for an apartment that is worth 100,000 euros, let's give it 5%, which is the bank is lending you 95,000 euros and you are putting in 5,000 euros. Now, do you know that the apartment you get from that, if you are to rent that same apartment from an agency or from a landlord, the monthly installment you are paying on the mortgage is much more lower than what you will be paying when you are renting the, the same apartment. Mm -hmm. 100,000 euros can get you three bedroom apartments which, with much negotiation. And give or take 5% that you put down. Now, after the calculations and all that, give or take, you are not paying up to 500 euros a month on that three bedroom apartment but if you are renting that same apartment from a landlord or from an agency you are, you might likely to get it for 600 euros or more now two bedroom apartment goes from minimum 500 euros upwards you can get a two bedroom apartment for 600 euros So, even if you have 5%, 10%, 15%, and you are willing and you have the mindset, you can go for it. And I was lucky enough to stumble upon Auntie who has a wireless TV. Yeah, you know, she also, she has series of videos regarding mortgage and all the stuff. 
you know she was giving a rebuttal on yeah if you have 20 percent or there about the interest rate reduce yeah it's quite clear now interest rate is always fixed depend on the type of mortgage you are going for if you are going for fixed your interest rate is fixed if the interest rate is four percent it is four percent now what makes the installment change is the amount you put in the mortgage now if the interest rate is fixed as at four percent and you are buying a house before you sign any document the interest rate is fixed at that four percent so if you put in five percent of the capital that means your installments will be a bit higher if you put 10 percent of your capital the installments gets lower a bit and if you put 20 percent of your capital the installment comes down but the interest rate is fixed but we also have the variable whereby it changes according to the market rates so if today the market is four percent you will be charged as per four percent and if tomorrow it increases to, to six percent you are paying at six percent that is where we got the whole the whole banking syndrome of people getting a mortgage and they lose their apartments why because they went on variable and it will shock you to know that the variable at the initial comes with a lower price installment so when you go for variable so many people are tempted to go for variable here in the us the canada just name it they prefer to go for the variable why because they feel that variable the initial is always low and then when market changes the price skyrockets and then you see i can't afford my mortgage anymore and the bank takes the house from you so if you are going for an apartment they will present before you fixed or variable always go for fixed always go for fixed because the interest rate is fixed a little bit higher but what you are paying on instrumental basis you've already known throughout the duration of the installments but variable you cannot predict how much you pay the following month you cannot predict how much you pay in a year time or two years time but for the fixed you can predict it and work towards it so if you have your spouse and you are working and your spouse is working you can offset your mortgage in 15 years even if you are 36 years you are 40 years 40 plus 15 that's 55 you are done with your payments i've seen it done i have friends who have done it so please if you're interested in getting a mortgage don't wait to get 40 percent or 50 percent if you have five percent and you have the necessary requirements then you can go for it And he said something you can you rent a house you put people in it and then you collect like you are subletting your apartment and then you collect money or rather you end up not even paying the rent it's been done you know but it will be much better if you put that effort in your own apartment and you end up paying also your mortgage in less than 10 years let's take for instance you succeeded in getting an apartment three bedroom apartment and you decide to say okay me and my family let's stay in one and let's put two for rent and give or take minimum payment for a room 200 euro so you can say 200 250 or thereabouts and you end up not even paying for the mortgage someone is paying for the mortgage whereas 
your own work and your spouse is working and then you save up that money add it to the ones you you collect from the, the rooms you subletted you are doubling your payments for your mortgage it's all about planning and thinking smart and it's all about information that was why at the beginning i said learn from people who have failed but follow the footsteps of those who have succeeded so in our next video we'll talk about more on mortgage things you need to know and he also said something before we wrap up and he said something about you know the bank they from time to time they take certain amount from your 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 accounts without your knowledge and all this stuff it has not happened it has not happened before you get the mortgage before you sign any documents everything will be stated out for you everything will be stated out for you that is why we always advocate go for fixed mortgage Probably the point our brother was talking from, he was talking from the point of variable, whereby you cannot predict what the bank will take from your account the following months. So which means the, the following month, it comes as a shock to you, whereby you, you're paying 400 this month and next month they tell you they take 500 from your account. That is probably what he was talking about. But for fixed, it is not possible. It is not possible. Aside the mortgage, there are also certain insurance that will also be done on the apartment. In our subsequent video, we'll be talking about insurance as regards to mortgage, peg to mortgage, and all that expenses that comes with you owning your own apartment. Stay tuned, like, follow, and share for more videos.